Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a little bit of a promo for your social media or Instagram to put in the beginning of your videos to help people visualize and see what your profile looks like with this mock-up template. So you guys see I use this in some of the beginning of my videos. It helps anyone who's new get to see a little bit of what your page looks like, how your social media handle is actually spelled, and get an idea for what you're talking about instead of just telling them to go follow. And it works a lot better in my opinion. So a lot of you guys have asked me to show you how to make something similar and I thought I'd break it down for you so you can see it's not too difficult at all. So let's say you're working on your project. It doesn't matter what video editor you use. Anything that has layers and track layers will work. Oftentimes I do this directly in ScreenFlow, which is my screen recording program. But let's say you're working on your finished project and you want to insert this in. What I have here is two things. I have a PNG, a transparent PNG of an iPhone mockup. Now you can search Google, there's tons of free resources for you to find mock-up templates. I just happen to use this one. There's also some premium resources that you might find for a couple dollars or two. But basically just find one that works for you, make sure you're not stealing anyone's image, and you're not infringing on any copyrights. So for example, here's one that I found on this list of free mock-up resources. So this is an example that I downloaded and this site gave it in a PSD form. Oftentimes they'll have different layers where things are just transparent and replaceable. In this case, the background was attached to the photo. So that's no problem. I can just grab my quick selection tool and then create a quick selection of the hand. Make sure it's decently clean. You can switch from add and subtract to selection modes to take care of some problem areas or some in-between areas that you missed. And then you can layer via copy it and hide the rest to get it on its own layer. And then I like to just keep this file save as a PNG transparent file on my desktop for me to always use and drag onto different projects when I want it. And then basically whatever editor you're using, drag it into your media bin or into your project and we can put it directly on the timeline over top of whatever clips we have and it'll be transparent. You can still see the background. So in this case, the dimensions are a little big. I'll go to the effect controls. I can lower the scale. I can double click on it and move the positioning around where I want. And then I have my iPhone screen capture file, which I also exported using ScreenFlow. I believe you could also use QuickTime and there's some other options to record your phone screen. But since I'm on a Mac and I use ScreenFlow to record my screen for everything, it's my favorite. I'll click and drag that on top of that mock-up image. And then now all I have to do is adjust the scale of that to fill in whatever screen size I used in the mock-up. So now you can see we have our screen recording of the phone playing inside the mock-up hand. And a few other finishing touches is I have a lower third that has my social media handle. I have that just transparently saved on my desktop. And I also have a full separate tutorial exactly on how to create this lower third intro in both After Effects or Premiere. So you can create these different pieces, save them on your desktop transparently, and then put them together when you need. And now if you're on the track, another finishing detail I like to do is just over top the portions where the phone will be playing. I like to either dim the opacity a little bit so you can dim the opacity or add a little bit of a blur. So you could use a Gaussian blur so the viewer's eyes are pulled to the phone and you can either cut these sections that you want to be dimmed out or use keyframes to transition into them. So basically once you do it once, I would just kind of keep this saved in a template project that you can always just right click, nest these three together and save it. And then you could always just copy and paste it into different projects or place it into different projects where you need it. So that's how you can create a little visual promo using mockups for your social media or whatever you wanted to display on the phone screen. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it. Let me know your thought in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any of my new videos. Also, you guys can follow me on social media as you saw in this whole video at Justin Odie Show if you want to stay tuned with me. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.